Today, we're going to talk about how one of the biggest companies in the world, Meta, formerly Facebook, is actually building a decentralized application and potentially a crypto application in the form of a Twitter competitor. Now, if you review Mark Zuckerberg's history over the last several years, you'll see that he's had true FOMO for getting into the crypto space for many years now. Remember his crypto project, Diem, which was a stable coin that was literally canceled by every world government because it could become far too powerful. Well, Diem, which was going to be this open crypto network, eventually transformed and those teams left, created projects like Aptos and Sui. These are huge projects that pretty much blew up due to their Facebook clout. Well, guess what? He didn't stop there. If you remember, the name Meta came from Metaverse Mania. Literally, Mark Zuckerberg changed the entire face of one of the biggest companies in the history of the world, chasing after a decentralized dream. First Diem, then Meta both widely considered massive failures. But Mark Zuckerberg didn't give up, and he hasn't given up. And I believe that underestimating Mr. Marky Mark here might be a tragic mistake. You see, he kept pushing on, and even though Meta sagged and went through one of the biggest price corrections in the history of any company in the world, he kept pushing forward. And with his Oculus product and his VR world, he's still trying to become the number one immersive virtual reality ecosystem in the world. He really does want to build the metaverse. Of course, now he's got some stiff competition from Apple with their new mixed reality headset. But this is where it gets super interesting because as he's releasing threads, an app intended to compete with Twitter, and of course he's doing this in the midst of Twitter's most controversial moment of turmoil. We all know that Elon Musk, as much as some of us might love him, others truly revile him. He's certainly not a universal type of character. Even though I do deeply respect what Elon does, a lot of people do not. A lot of people think Twitter is really a cesspool of hate and anger, negativity. Quite frankly, I don't enjoy my time on Twitter all that much. I do go on there a few minutes a day to check crypto news, but you've probably noticed that I just don't post that much there anymore. It just doesn't make me happy to contribute there on Twitter. And I think that there are a lot of creators that feel this way, that they'd like to interact on this casual level, but the reality is Twitter just ain't it. So that brings us to Meta's new project or Instagram's new project as they're calling it, Threads. What might not be super obvious is that Threads is actually based on decentralized architecture. And this is borrowing from a lot of rhetoric about decentralized social media, projects like Blue Sky, which is Jack Dorsey's new project, and of course, Noster, which is the Bitcoin social media network. Threads is really trying to push the envelope when it comes to using decentralized architecture. And this begs the question, is Threads also going to become a payments app like Elon Musk intends to make with X? The real question is, how far will the decentralization go? Of course, we know that Meta is famous for harvesting and selling your data like a fresh basket of strawberries. Yes, delicious, profitable data. We know that they need this as part of their business model, so it won't be super decentralized, not in the way that us crypto folks care about. But the real question is, is Threads yet another attempt to push into the crypto landscape? We cannot underestimate Mark Zuckerberg's hunger, his thirst to be part of the crypto world. He sees the potential. And clearly, after a massive failure in Diem, after a similarly massive, in fact, even more massive flop, changing the entire name of a publicly traded company to Meta, just as Metaverse becomes an unspeakably bad word in the public, well, potentially, third time is the charm here. What we know is that crypto, the architecture of decentralization, the ethos, is certainly not going away. And we might see some absolutely surprising pushes to bring cryptocurrency into the mix here in the new Threads app. So anyway, I haven't really figured out what I'm going to publish there, but I feel like it's going to be much more personal, much more casual. So make sure to follow me over on threads and even Instagram. I don't really publish that kind of stuff yet, but I will. So I'm going to be doing a big giveaway when I hit some big round number there. So everyone crack open that threads app, follow me at Elio trades. I'll have a screenshot pop up here and I'll have a link. I forgot to put the link yesterday. Anyways, let's see what this thread stuff is all about and never lose sight of the fact that we are here in the new bull cycle. We are here. Potentially this time is different but I don't think so. I think that if we get some hit applications, some truly hit products going on in crypto land over the next 12 to 18 months before a true mania kicks off, that would be some real firm ground, some real firm foundation for this next bull run to stand upon. And that we should take advantage of these quiet times to build, build, build. I'm gonna be coming up with a very simplified portfolio outlook over the next few days. I think you're gonna very much so like it. As always, if you guys enjoyed these videos, make sure to smash that like button and I'll see you very soon on the next episode.